today what I want to do is do a one strike ferro rod fire and I it's snowing pretty well here in Ohio it's crazy Ohio weather so those who live in Ohio know what I'm talking about you don't know what's coming um, recently I did a challenge I issued one about a one match fire with no tools and I've got quite a few responses and I'm very thankful for that and Justin Wolf at Grier Wolf and he's got a Facebook page Wolf Customs um, challenged me to go ahead and do a he likes to practice a ferro rod with a one trying to get it with one strike and I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it in this adverse conditions it's snowing and I don't have nothing I'll try to collect what I can and I'll just use my ferro rod my knife and whatever I find um, I'll, since if I use pine I know I'll be able to get it going so I'll go ahead and I won't use pine either just to make it more of a challenge so um, thank you for the challenge Justin and I'll go ahead and collect my resources and get started back here at the down tree um, I believe it's oak so it's a hardwood um, so it, it will be a little bit trickier to get going but it's got some snow on it but if you hear let me go ahead and pull one off if you can hear this you're gonna be okay if you can hear that nice snap then it's gonna be good for your small another thing about this if it was on the ground it would definitely be wet but if, if it's up like this and you can hear those snaps, then it's going to be a great candidate for your smalls and your fuel. Even if it's got a little bit of coating of snow on it, it'll be better if it doesn't, but if it does, it will still work. So let me go ahead and collect some of this up. with all of our materials we've got some grapevine which I found on the other uh, underside of the grapevine and then I have my smalls and then I have this other stuff I collected and telling you the truth when it's cold like this and it's snowing and you need to get a fire going I could care less how this looks it just has to be a decent fire lay that you know will get the fire going we've got one strike here that's what I'm going to go for for Justin and if you don't make it count you could if you're in an area you don't know, you could actually die. So you need to be very cognizant of that stuff. So just I just no order, just do it there like that. And what I'm going to do is just take two other sticks that just broke off a branch and just lay them like this. Just that will give me an elevated area to put my smalls on, so that it does not starve the grass of oxygen or my tinder of oxygen. Now I have my other stuff here, which are my smalls, which are just sitting right there. But I will probably add, I will add this grapevine first after I get the grass on fire. So I have my grass in my pack so it does not get wet because that is very important. I'm going to collect the rest of the fuel I need, maybe clear this out a little bit, and then maybe collect a little bit more smalls, I don't know. Then we'll go ahead and get started. But keep your tinder in a dry place. If you can keep your smalls or something covered up, I would suggest to do that as well. Thank you. 
All right, guys, since I have all this set up, I've got all my fuel processed into my smalls. Now, before I get that grass out, like I said, you need to be prepared. So I'll go ahead and reach my pack. I believe I have everything, or you need to know you have everything ready. If you don't know, this is not the weather to be doing that in. So get my smalls ready, but first I'll add this grapevine so it'll give it longevity. So let me get my grass out. And really that grass does not need much processing because it takes the spark very good. So I'm gonna get that out very quick. And this grass burns up quick, so I have quite a bit of it. Let's see if I can't get this sucker going. Close my pack up. And even if I want to, you know what? I'll probably cover the fuel up with my pack so they stay drier. And I did not really do much with this at all. Other than I'm going to get my ferro rod out. I'm going to get that rod out. Get my knife out. Make sure it's throwing sparks. When it's throwing sparks and you know it, you want to go ahead and get this grass lit on fire. All right, since you get that, got that lit, add that stuff, and go ahead and add your other stuff here. Get it burned. Put your knife back. Your ferro rod. And get ready to add some fuel. I did not get it on one strike the first time you said that don't expect to and this and I didn't so I think I got it in three or four strikes if I'm not mistaken with that grass and it was pretty damp even though it was above the snow it seemed to be pretty damp but it got going we got a fire so that's what matters it's always nice to come out in the woods personal time just to spend especially when it's snowing it's just very pretty you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and to everyone who just did a VR to the match video I appreciate it and Justin thank you for the challenge it was great and very fun I'll continue to practice it and I will catch you guys in the next one I'm gonna finish watching this fire burn down